Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Buffalo Bulletin, where we recap stories from our site, technobuffalo.com, every Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in reading more about any story I mentioned on the show, check the description for links or click on the graphics if you have annotations available and toggled on. I'm Ashley Scatha. Here are your top stories. Google kicked off the post-CES news alerts with a huge announcement earlier this week. They're buying smart thermostat creator Nest Labs. The purchase price, $3.2 million, indicating Google is really interested in getting into home automation. Nest posted a Q&A answering questions about the acquisition, especially after some customers raised concerns about their data and privacy with El Goog. Uh, between this purchase and Boston Dynamics, Google is clearly building terminators that will also do your dishes. Starbucks catching some flack this week after reports surfaced their mobile app stored usernames, email addresses, and even passwords in clear text. Meaning anyone with physical access to your device could see them. Starbucks confirmed that on Wednesday night and admitted it opted for convenience over security, but they do plan on updating the app. Now, the scarier part of this is around 20% of the time people use the same usernames and passwords for a lot of things on the internet, like their bank accounts. So if you're using the Starbucks app, Make sure you're not using the same user password combo as anything else important. In gaming, some pretty exciting possibilities cropped up in official Nintendo Magazine this week where Nintendo producer Kensuke Tanabe and Retro Studios president Michael Kelbaugh talked about their collaborative efforts in the past, like the Donkey Kong Country Return series and the Metroid Prime series, but they also dropped a bomb that Retro Studios might work on a title under the man himself, Shigeru Miyamoto. Now, that's something for Nintendo fans to completely freak out over, including me, but until that possibility becomes a reality, we'll just have to settle for imagining what that collaboration might produce. Also in gaming, Octodad Dadliest Catch got an official release date. It'll finally drop for PC, Mac, and Linux on January 30th. There's a brand new trailer attached to that release date with Octodad doing his best to keep the fact that he's a freaking octopus from his human wife and human children. Young Horses president Phil Tibetoski says the PS4 release of Dadliest Catch is targeted for March. I'm not kidding when I say this game is ridiculously fun, has some awesome game mechanics, and will delight and entertain even the grouchiest human being or octopus. Lastly, our grab bag story of the week is a bold heist. Two thieves stole over $95,000 of Apple product from a truck that happened to be moving on the Autobahn. Yeah. Apparently, authorities think these guys leapt from the hood of their car to the back of the truck, stole a bunch of iPads and iPhones, and then took off. The driver didn't even realize he'd been robbed until hours later. Uh, but in related news, Ocean's 14 just got written for free. So somebody called George Clooney. That's the Buffalo Bulletin for today. If you enjoyed the show, give us a thumbs up. That'd be super awesome of you. And if you want more great Techno Buffalo video content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this giant subscribe button. See you guys next time.